Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. Do you run a blog or website that's powered by WordPress? If so, you're probably aware that hackers are constantly trying to break into WordPress sites and take them over so they can use them for nefarious purposes. As you know, using a strong password will help prevent hackers from breaking into your site's WordPress dashboard, but enabling two-factor authentication on your account will add an extra, even stronger layer of protection. If you don't already have two-factor authentication enabled on your WordPress dashboard admin account, I strongly encourage you to, to enable it as soon as possible. But there's one thing you need to be aware of in regards to two-factor authentication. There might come a time when you'll be unable to retrieve the two-factor authentication login codes from your phone or tablet for some reason. And as you know, without the code, you won't be able to log into your account, even if you know the password. But here's a little tidbit of info for you. If you ever need to log into WordPress but you can't retrieve the two-factor authentication code, there's a trick you can use to log into your account even if you don't have access to the two-factor authentication code. All you need to do is log into your web server's control panel and temporarily rename the folder containing your authenticator plugin, Google Authenticator, Authy, etc. My server uses cPanel, so I'll give you instructions for that, but this basic procedure will work with other control panel platforms just as well. Just find the file manager tool or its equivalent and you'll be all set. So here are my instructions for cPanel. First, sign into cPanel using the login inf login info you received from your hosting company. Scroll down to the files section and click file manager. Now double click on the globe icon beside public HTML. Now double click on the WP content folder icon. Now double click on the plugins folder icon. Now right here list the plugins that I have installed on this little blog of mine. You'll see that I use Google Authenticator. Now I just right click on that folder um, or you'll right click on the folder containing your authenticator plugin and temporarily rename it. In my case, it's a Google Authenticator, so I right click, rename. Now I simply rename my folders by appending dash back to the folder name. Click rename file. Okay, and you can see that the name has been changed. Now you're done with cPanel for now. Renaming the folder containing your Authenticator plugin effectively disables it, allowing you to go back to WordPress and sign into your WordPress dashboard without having to enter a two-factor authentication code. Now head back to WordPress and sign into your account. After you've signed in, you should immediately return to cPanel or whichever control panel your server uses and rename the folder containing your Authenticator plugin back to its original name. In my case, I simply removed the dash back that I appended to the name earlier. Be sure not to forget this step or your WordPress dashboard will remain unprotected by two-factor authentication. That's all there is to it. Now you know how to bypass two-factor authentication in order to sign into your own WordPress account if you're ever in a situation where you're unable to retrieve your two-factor authentication code. If you found this tip useful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks a bunch.